Different order types can result in vastly different outcomes, which is why it's important to understand the type of order you use. In this video, we show you how to turn a market order into a limit order trading strategy. You can see the results of our limit order trading strategies on the screen, so please make sure you stay until the end. What is a limit order trading strategy? A limit order trading strategy is an order to buy or sell a security at a specific price or better. It comes with a specification of the maximum price to be paid or the minimum price to be received. This is why it's called a limit price. Let's go on to backtest two trading strategies to show you the difference between a market order and a limit order trading strategy. We start with a basic mean reversion strategy that buys with a market order at the close. When we backtest the trading strategy on NASDAQ 100, it performs well. The average gain per trade is 0.89%, which equals 10.4% compounded annually. The strategy is invested only 18%, and thus the capital is idle for long periods of time, for example, accruing interest. Mean reversion is a type of strategy that's optimal for limit orders because you buy on weakness and sell on strength. With that in mind, let's use the same strategy but use a limit price for the buy order. We change the trading rules to buy the day after the signal, if today's open is lower than yesterday's close. As expected, the number of trades drops significantly, more than half. The average gain per trade goes up from 0.89% to 1.12%, but this is not enough to offset the lost profits because of the limit order and that you enter the next day. Annual returns drop to 7.6% from 10.4%. Trading is always about different trade-offs. This is one of them. By using a limit order, you miss many profitable trades, but the average gain per trade might go up. Can the strategy be improved or made different? If you have any suggestions, please comment. Good luck trading.